Hello everyone, this is DA from e Academy, and today we are going to see what is an inner product space in functional analysis. So let's start it. So if we have a linear space V over a field F, so the field can be real or complex. So this is a linear space or roughly we can say that we have a vector space over a field F and the inner product is a function from so inner product is a function from V cross V to F. That is we if we are going to take a pair of two vectors from the V, let's say X and Y, then this function inner product maps the ordered pair from the V to the field F. So it maps this to one element in the field. So the inner product of X to Y equals to A the field element. So this is the what is this function doing from V to F. So this function is said to be inner product if it satisfy the four basic properties. So the first property is inner product of any element with itself must be greater than or equal to zero. So if the inner product of this equals to zero, then the element equals to zero itself. So the first property is that the inner product of every element with itself must be greater than or equal to zero. And if it is zero, then we can assume that X or any element whose inner product equals to zero must equals to the zero vector because this is the element are taken from the linear vector space or we can say that a linear space. So this is the first property. Now moving toward the second property of this inner product space. The inner product of the sum of the two elements from the vector space or the linear space and then with the third element can be written as the inner product of the first and the last and then this y and z. So this is the second property of inner product space for all of the elements of the vector space V. So now moving toward the third property of inner product space, inner product of alpha time x where alpha is a field element with the space element x. So the inner product of alpha x and y can be written as alpha can be extracted out if it is on the side of x. If it is on the side of y, it can't be extracted out from uh, inner product like this. So if it is with the first element, then it can be extracted out. And why it is the reason that if it is with y, alpha is with y, then why we can't say this? Because the field can be complex. So for the complex, we can't use this assumption here so we can use the uh, formula of the conjugacy will be uh, discussed in the fourth property as well so if the alpha is any field element regardless of what is the field but if it is on the very first side on the very first element of that is here x so alpha is extracted out and we can write this as that alpha times the inner product of x and y so now the fourth property is, and this property is mainly for when we have underlying field as a complex plane. So this inner product of x and y equals to the conjugate of y and x. And why I am saying that if alpha was with y, so we can't use this property for the this thing. So this is the reason that when we are saying that we can take field as a complex, so we can find the equality of the inner product space like this and you can understand by what i'm saying with the alpha with the x or y in the next uh, video and that was most probably about the cauchy short inequality and in that inequality we can see that how it can't be possible for for alpha uh, when it was with y to extract it out easily so these are the four properties of the inner product space and what is an inner product it is a function from v cross v to f that it can take a pair from the vector space and gives us a scalar from the field and if it is satisfy the four properties so we can form a pair of the v of the space
vector space and the function like this. So this pair is known as inner product space and this is for now you're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.